Okay, so this is uh, Depeche Mode, as you can see from the uh, title here on the screen. Uh, just can't get enough. So, yeah, we're getting into uh, Depeche Mode again. Um, I've been liking what I've been hearing from them, like every other band I've reacted to. Um, it's all kind of running together here with like the 80s and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what this channel has become, 80s and 90s music, I guess. But anyway, that's besides the point. This is Depeche Mode, as I said, and we're just going to get into it and then talk about it after. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, go. All right. So that was, uh, I just can't get enough, uh, if he didn't repeat it too much for you, um, you would know. So yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I like, <laughs> I don't know, I, this song made me happy, I'll say, uh, <laughs> off the start. Um, I really like just the groove of it, um, Rummy of like, I, I don't know, it was, you, it was very poppy, um, I would say, I think it was electro pop, uh, they put this under as, and, uh, yeah, it's just like, kind of remind me of like Mr. Roboto or something and like uh something maybe like the cars like new wave sound as well and uh yeah I really liked it and uh I feel like I've heard something from this song before I probably have uh I think it might be a little it's popular I don't know I know Depeche Mode they're a pretty well-known band but uh 
yeah, I feel like the song is kind of familiar, but I've never like heard the whole thing. But uh, yeah, it's just very 80s. You can tell. I feel like this could be used in like a John Hughes movie, or it could have been because he's dead now. But anyway, yeah, it might have been. I don't know. But anyway, it's just uh, very poppy and just very catchy and like yeah i liked it so yeah okay let's just talk about uh what this is about and uh yeah so it says just can't get enough is the third single of uh 1980s electro pop group there it is they patch mode and it's from the album speak and spell um okay uh the single peaked at number eight in the uk making it their highest charting single at the time so yeah it was pretty popular i guess at that time in 1981 i think this was released and then uh yeah so it says it was the last single written by band leader vince clark who left the band soon after the song's release in november 1981 so yeah uh the band leader vince clark i never heard of that guy so uh yeah well i mean i don't really know all the members i guess i was thinking of another band actually but anyway uh like I've heard of the other members there, Martin Gore and uh, David Gann, or Gone or whatever it is, but uh, I think so. But anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that's that. So anyway, I'm like rambling here. Okay, so the first verse, I want to talk about the song here, see what this is all about. So it says, and I just can't get enough, as they said a lot throughout the song. It says, the popular saying is that love works like a drug, especially cocaine. Okay, therefore he's completely addicted to his new girlfriend, and he knows that he can't be fully satisfied with it. So again, love is a theme. Uh, I feel like a lot of the songs are react to. Um, love's a theme in a lot of songs, and uh, especially with like The Cure and uh, The Smiths and everything. But anyway, yeah, so there's not many annotations here. I mean, there's not many lyrics, to be honest. Uh, I just can't get enough. It's said many times throughout. And uh, yeah, so then there's a chorus here. You're like an angel. You give me uh, your love, and I just can't seem to get enough of. And then goes into, I just can't get enough. But anyway, uh, it says, angels are known to be graceful and beautiful. Uh, the singer describes his lover as an angel, and also states that he is very lucky to have someone like her uh, to love him. Uh, since this is a final time, he says, I just can't seem to get enough. This could suggest that this is the singer's favorite thing about his lover, the fact that she loves him. Oh, isn't that sweet? So it says, the reason that it's getting hotter, it's a burning love, isn't uh, here as the last lines of the song. It's because the singer isn't certain that his relationship with his lover will last forever. I mean, nothing lasts forever. Let's be honest. Uh, it makes more sense that he ends with these lines saying that he loves the way his lover loves him. So yeah, love's a big thing here. And then uh, it also says, okay, so then someone corrected them, I guess. It says, this isn't the last time Dave sings, I just can't get enough. There's an entire outro of the phrase. So, yeah, I don't know if they fixed that or what, but anyway, I'm just reading what I see. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, I just can't get enough. It said, I think, 16 times it said on the screen there. And uh, they just can't get enough of uh, her love, I guess, basically. I mean, I don't think there's many uh, dark tones or underlying themes to the song. I don't think so. Uh it's just a poppy song about love, basically, and uh, I can see why it did well. It's just catchy. It's a good rhythm. It gets in your head. Nice uh, groove to it, I guess you could say. It just, like I said, remind me of, like, Mr. Roboto or something, and it's very 80s sounding, and uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I mean, I liked it. Uh, like I said, I think I've heard it before somewhere, and uh, yeah, it's just probably won't get out of your head. That's, like, and that's very... Uh, it's good when a song doesn't get out of your hand, out of your hand, out of your head for the band, because uh, then they make their money, and uh, that's what bands want to do. They want to get songs in your head, so you buy their albums and they stick around, you know. So anyway, <laughs> I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for commenting and liking and all that stuff on videos, and it's all well appreciated. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Thank you, Mercy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, I hope, you, I hope to see you guys in the next one. All right, so that's it. Thank you.